lot to get to. I want to start with that breaking news out of Teller County tonight. The deadly incident at a Colorado gold mine that is now a tourist attraction. Those 12 people trapped more than a thousand feet below the surface have been rescued tonight, but authorities confirming one person died after what they call an equipment malfunction. That's right. And we also have some brand new video of that mine showing the conditions the people were dealing with at the time. Those 12 visitors trapped right here, down here for hours. Fox 31's Deep Belt is live at Molly Kathleen Mine tonight with brand new information about this rescue. Yeah, guys, we just got that good news about an hour ago from the Teller County Sheriff telling us that all of the 12 people who were trapped for six hours, a thousand feet under the ground, underground were rescued. They were brought up safely. He says none of those 12 people were injured. Now, Teller County Sheriff Jason Mikesell says they were all brought up via the elevator system safely and four at a time. Now, that he says that was the plan all along, despite the initial malfunction. That's where they said the problem was, was with the elevator. Elevator. Now, that initial malfunction is what he says caused the one person to be killed. He says they were able to recover that person's body from the mine. Now, each of the 12 people that were trapped all day, they were adults, and they were not told the full extent of the incident so that they wouldn't be scared. The sheriff says they were quite shocked to learn about everything once they got up to the surface. And the sheriff says bringing them back here was a collaborative effort that couldn't have been done without by any one agency alone. Here's the thing in Colorado, we train every day to make um, those decisions on, on first responders and safety and, and getting people to safety, and, and you saw it work. That's what I saw today. How often do you have a senator, you have the state of Colorado here, you've got commissioners here, they did an emergency declaration, we did everything that we possibly could to make sure they were safe. Now the sheriff tells us this is the end of the season for the mine as well, which of course, uh, as you heard, uh, takes tourists down in there. It's uh, this coming weekend was set to be the last day of operation for the year. Now the sheriff also tells us that each of the 12 individuals that were rescued, they were given hotels here in Cripple Creek for the night to help them recover a little bit easier. Reporting live from Cripple Creek, Nate Belt, Fox 31. All right.